quiz night. Let's get quizzical, guys. Hopefully, you are all able to join us for our quiz. Okay, this week, my co-host is Jazz again. Welcome, Jazz. Hello. Hello. So, me and Jazz are hosting your quiz this evening. Okay, we have got 21 questions just like normal for you. And your code will appear on screen shortly. Let us know where you are watching us from. Is it Facebook? Is it YouTube? Is it Twitter? Wherever it might be. Um, say hello. Enter a team. Think of a funky name. Very important that you've got a funky name. Very, very crucial. I mean, I think personally the best name should win the quiz. <laughs> it's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so your quiz code is up there now, guys. So you can enter our Kahoot quiz. So you need to be watching us on a screen and you need a separate screen so you could be using your phone. So watching us on your laptop, playing on your phone um, where you need the free Kahoot app um, where you can take part by entering the code below and submitting your team names. Hello, Chris and Great Gonaby. Welcome to the quiz. Let's try and get at least 10 quizzes taking part. Ah, here we go. There's your Kahoot screen. So you can now see your Kahoot screen. Get those teams entered and ready to rumble. How's everyone been this week? Have we all had a lovely week? How's your week been, Jazz? It's been good, thank you. It's been, it's been an interesting one, but it's been very good. And good. it's the middle of the week now, which is super, super exciting. We're past the middle of the week because it's gone much. <laughs> exactly. Even better. Even better. Oh, we've got three teams on board. Welcome to the quiz. So we've got 10 questions on um, what sport does the professional sport person play? So we're going to be testing you on your sporting professionals uh, this evening, this evening, this afternoon. Um, okay, so we've got 10 questions on that. Then we've got 10 general knowledge questions. And then, as usual, we've got one bonus question at the end there. Okay, so testing you on your pro sports people. Oh, the Goswells are back. They are our defending champions. Welcome back, the Goswells. Here we go. We've got six teams entered so far. We've got six. It's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Let's see how many people we can get in. Oh, while I remember, we're doing, or everybody is doing, this isn't just an Inspire Plus thing, um, a 6pm clap for Tom and the NHS workers. Um, obviously, Captain Tom, Sir Captain Tom, um, did an amazing, amazing uh, fundraiser last year. Um, and everyone is doing a nice clap for him at six o'clock tonight. So get out those front doors and... Give Captain Tom a clap for me. I'll be there on my doorstep at 6 p.m. clapping for Captain Tom. So make sure you don't miss that, guys. Um, oh, hello. We've got seven teams now. Seven teams. Also, did anybody do the bird watching at the weekend? It was um, RSPB. Apparently, they do it every year. I was clueless until this year. Um, but you sit outside. At, you don't have to sit outside. You sit by a window. <laughs> And you watch how many birds and you record what different birds and how many birds and stuff like that um, come into your garden or out the front of your house, wherever you might live. Um, and you submit it on the uh, RSPB website. And um, yeah, it just gives them like a an overall bit of knowledge as to where different breeds of birds are and stuff like that. So uh, that's a really nice way um, to relax and a brilliant idea. Obviously, you don't only have to do it the weekend the RSPB are doing it. You can do it any weekend. <laughs> Get bird watching, guys. That sounds like good fun. I may have to do that at the window. Yeah, definitely. Get, get a coffee and sit by the window. Oh, no. Oakley chased all their birds away. Oh, Chris. <laughs> I got into an argument with somebody over... It was a cartoon picture before I finished this sentence. It was a cartoon picture of... Um, well, we don't fully know. We never really came to a uh, answer. But I said it was a pigeon and they said it was a seagull. So we got into a little bit of a squabble. <laughs> Either way, we said it was the disliked bird. 
Uh, we get lots of squirrels in our garden and Gatsby goes mental at squirrels. Don't you, Gats? How dare those squirrels enter our garden? <laughs> dare they? I don't think I've seen any birds in my garden. None? Ah, oh, we'll have to get you a bird feeder for your birthday. Yeah, I need it. I've, I've only lived here a month, so I might have just missed them. Oh. I need to get them in. I love birds. Definitely. So I need nice. to see them. Absolutely. Right, can we get any more people on board in our quiz teams? We'll give you two minutes, two minutes. Text your friends, get people involved, please, guys. Let's see how many teams we can get to fight for the top of the podium. The Goswells are back. Someone needs to knock the defending champions off the top. <laughs> we had our family quiz night last night. Oh, that that's fun. Fun. Yeah, that was lovely. We'll I'm making one for my family now. Yeah, we do it once a month. It's brilliant. We enjoy it. That's a good idea, especially in lockdown. Exactly. When we can't go and see him, we'll see him on here instead. <laughs> Okay, one more minute to get those teams in. One more minute. And then we will begin. Testing that knowledge on professional sports people. What sports do they do? That is the question. What, eight teams so far. That's quite good. Eight teams. Can we get any more? Can we get any more? Any last minute entries? Right, I'm going to get started. I'm making the call. We are going to begin with your Let's Get Quizzical on the 3rd of February. Yes, welcome to February, guys. Okay, here we go. We are about to begin. Get those fingers on the buzzers and ready to press because the quicker you are, the more points you get. Let's get quizzical. Okay, question number one. What sport does Andy Murray play? Red cricket, blue badminton, yellow squash or green tennis? What sport does Andy Murray play? Feels like ages since I've seen like different live sports. Quite a lot of football on the telly now, which Rugby is fine. Back this weekend. Put in? Rugby's back this weekend. Is it? Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Why don't you get the rugby on? Who's playing? But it's the Six Nations. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, very, very excited for that. My dad likes his rugby. We, um... ah, well done. You know your tennis. Brilliant, guys. Andy Murray is, of course, a tennis player. He's Scottish. My dad likes his rugby. I, booked, I got him Six Nations tickets a few years back for his birthday. Oh, wow. Been... <laughs> awesome. Okay, the bug has taken the early lead. What sport does Ronnie O'Sullivan play? Red darts, blue football, yellow snooker, or green ultimate frisbee? Do you know? This is a tricky one. Tricky yeah. for me, anyway. I don't know about everyone else. <laughs> it's hard. Sometimes if you've just not, if you just don't quite know. Oh, snooker. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well done, guys. God, look at all them moving on ups. Moving on up. Moving on. Sorry, I won't sing to you. It's terrible. <laughs> Everybody hates my singing. <laughs> what sport does Lizzie Arnold play? This one's a tricky one. Play or do. Red skeleton, blue bobsleigh, yellow skiing or green snowboarding. We've got some winter sports in here. What sport does Lizzie Yarnall do? This will be interesting. Let's see who's got it. 
Oh, yes. She does skeleton, which is a terrifying sport. Like, well done to her. Brilliant. She's Olympic champion. And, um, oh, the bug is on fire. Nice work, guys. Um, she essentially goes down a slope of ice, round corners, very, very, very quickly on a tin tray. So, uh, <laughs> wow. that's because I wouldn't do it. She goes down head first. Whew. Terrifying. What sport does Anthony Joshua do? Red taekwondo, blue boxing, yellow karate, or green kickboxing? What sport does Anthony Joshua do? Do you know? I think I've got this one. I think. She's got this one. She knows this one. Get those answers in, guys. Yeah, he's a boxer. Of course he is. He went to the London 2012 Olympics and then he turned professional. And now he is big time. Oh, Mr. C's got his lightning bolt. Brilliant. Well done, guys. No one can catch the bug just yet. What sport oh, does our ambassador Elizabeth Simmons do? What sport does our ambassador Eliz Elizabeth Simmons do? She is an Inspire Plus ambassador, but what sport does she do? Who knows? Who is clued up on their Insp Inspire Plus ambassadors? Yeah, well done. She's a swimmer, just like me, but she swims on her back. She splashes around backwards. She is a backstroke swimmer. She's been to two Olympic Games. Um, and, yeah, she's pretty awesome. Elizabeth Simmons, our very own ambassador. Oh, well done. Look, we're creeping on up at the bottom here. The points are so close, guys. Good start. Question six. What sport does LeBron James play? Red baseball, blue American football, yellow basketball or green football? What sport does LeBron James play? Tricky, tricky. Get those answers in. The quicker on the buzzer, the more points you get. Yeah, he's a basketball player. Well done, guys. We knew it was one of those American ones. <laughs> yes, well done. Lovely. What sport did Sir Steve Redgrave participate in? Red sailing, blue open water swimming, yellow water polo or green rowing. Sir Steve Redgrave, what sport did he do, guys? Do you know it? He is a legend in the sport. He's quite impressive. His, his uh, medal haul is spectacular. I've had to guess this one, so I am excited to find out which one it is. Oh, yes, he's a rower. Well done. I, I, I feel like, is it, is it six Olympics he's been to? Six wow. Olympics, yeah. And he has won many golds. He's done very well. There's a reason there's a sir in front of that man's name. Okay, next question. What sport does Tom Daly do? Tom Daly, what sport? Red swimming, blue water polo, yellow diving, or green surfing. What sport does he do? Tom Daly. Get those answers in. Yeah, he's a diver. Well done, guys. He is a diver. 
Oh, where oh, are the ghost worlds? Come on, ghost worlds. Our reigning champs. Not even on the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what sport does Greg Rutherford do? <laughs> Red high jump, blue long jump, yellow triple jump, or green the 100 metre sprint? Tricky one, this. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, get those answers in. Come on. Two more things to go. Hmm. Yeah, he's a long jumper. He was part of Super Saturday at London 2012 where he won gold. <laughs> the Goswells are trying really hard. Keep trying, Goswells. <laughs> You're doing a brilliant job. Oh, look, the leaderboard changed there. Well done, LFC and the pack. Pow, pow. Tiggies are making a comeback with three in a row. Okay. What sport does Laura Trot do? Laura Trot. Red track cycling, blue road cycling, yellow rowing or green pentathlon? Laura Trot. What sport does she do? Do you know it? I believe this is our last sports person question. We are moving on to general knowledge after this. Yes, she's a track cyclist. Well done. Again, she's got a brilliant medal haul. She's very fast going round in circles on a bike. Oh, Mr. C's come back. Ooh. Brilliant. <laughs> 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 the Goswells put they wanted to say horse riding. I feel like that's a reference to her surname, Trot. <laughs> okay, right. We are moving on to general knowledge now, guys. General knowledge coming up for 10 questions. Number 11. Who wrote the Harry Potter books? Red, David Walliams. Blue, J.K. Rowling. Yellow, Roll Dahl or Green, Beatrix Potter? Who wrote the Harry Potter books? Who was it? Hopefully, no one gets this one wrong. Hopefully. We all must know our Harry Potter. Brilliant. Got to know. Josh got me last year um, Harry Potter World tickets for Christmas. So we yeah, went. I had them. those for Christmas. It was so good. I loved it with all of my heart. I had the best day. <laughs> yes, it was JK Rowling. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, the points are close, guys. Which is closer to Earth? Red the moon or blue the sun? Oh, tricky. Which is closer to Earth? Red the moon or blue the sun? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Who knows it? This is a good question, this is. Oh, get those answers in. We've stumped some people. It's the moon. Well done, guys. The moon is closer. I believe if the sun was closer, we'd all be baked alive by now. Yes. <laughs> Okay, next question. What is the name of the cowboy in Toy Story? Red Andy, Blue Rex, Yellow Buzz or Green Woody? Which one is it? Who is the cowboy? Howdy, partner. <laughs> that, was, that was beautifully done. Why, thank you. <laughs> feel like I need to put my cowboy hat on. Definitely. <laughs> Get those answers in. Who has an answer? Hey, of course it's Woody. And he's got Andy written on his foot because he belongs to Andy. We know our toy story. 
God, look how close the bug is on fire. But look how close the rest of us are. What type of fish is Nemo? Is he red a clownfish, blue a goldfish, yellow an angelfish, or green a catfish? Nemo out of Finding Nemo. What is he? What kind of fish is he? My favourite fish to spot when I go to an aquarium. <laughs> shout Nemo. Yeah. You're they not the type of fish. You have to shout Nemo. <laughs> Yes, he is a clownfish. Oh, oh, look at the goswells. There they are. Cute jump. Well done, the goswells. All right, here we go. We are on question number 15 now. How many plants are there? Plants, planets are there in the solar system? <laughs> Red six, blue seven, yellow eight, or green nine. How many planets are there in the solar system? This is tricky. I feel like I always... A really tricky question. question. I wish I'd remembered the planets rhyme now. <laughs> I wish I'd paid more attention. <laughs> there are eight. Now, can anybody list them all? I definitely cannot. <laughs> what no. are the different planets in the solar system? All eight of them, please, if anyone can do it. <laughs> oh, that was a game changer, that one. Well done, Misty. Oh. You're catching the bug. Okay, question 16. Wheeler for water. Red CO2, blue H2O, yellow WO2, or green H1O. I used to have this written on a t-shirt for rugby games. <laughs> when I was water girl, when I was injured. <laughs> Brilliant. She knows this one then. It's probably the only one I've guessed right so far. <laughs> Yes, H2O. Brilliant, guys. H2O, good job. Okay, here we go. We're getting towards the end now. Every point counts. What is the smallest country in the world? Red, San Marino. Blue, Monaco. Um, yellow, Liechtenstein. Or green, Vatican City. Smallest country in the world. Which one is it? Mm. Get those answers in. Wait, it's the Vatican City. Well done. It wasn't until very recently that I knew that that was actually classed as a country. Yeah, me too. Mm. Okay, right, here we go. Number 18. What country are the pyramids in? Red Egypt, blue Africa, yellow Peru, or green Rome? What country are the pyramids in? Who's going to move on up in these last few questions? Who's making the biggest comeback? Yes, it's Egypt. Of course it is. Oh, the leaderboard hasn't changed. Okay. Question 19. What is the highest mountain in the world? Red K2, blue Everest, yellow Kilimanjaro or green Denali? The highest mountain in the world. Ain't no mountain high enough. God, I'm in a singing mood this evening. <laughs> Well done. It's Everest, of course. And some people have climbed it. Madness. I have a piece of um, a piece of rock from Base Camp Everest. Do you? Yeah, a friend brought it back for me because they went on a big trip and climbed part of Everest. 
Wow, that's incredible. Even base camp is incredible. Super, super tough. Yeah. yeah. Wow, well done. Okay, question 20, last general knowledge. Who is the Prime Minister of Britain? Red, David Cameron. Yellow, Theresa May. Gr yellow, ha! Ah! Blue, Theresa May. Yellow, Gordon Brown. Or green, Boris Johnson. God, blimey, someone sack the host. She can't get a word out. <laughs> Prime Minister of Britain. Yeah, of course he is. He's on our telly every night at the minute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you've got one final question. This is your bonus question, number 21. How many rooms are there in Buckingham Palace? Ooh. Tricky. Red, 122. Blue, 308. Yellow, 598. Or green, 775. How many rooms in Buckingham Palace? This is super tricky. You've got to guess this one. Surely no one knows this. No one's been able to go in and count, I don't think. I got the I got the honour of walking through Buckingham Palace, but I wow. never... Two people got it right. Wow, well, well done. done. 775 rooms in Buckingham Palace. That is crazy. I would not want to be the cleaner. Absolutely not. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see who has taken the win. In third. Oh, the Godswells. In second, Mr. C. And in first, is it the bug? The bug! Oh. From start to finish. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. In fourth and fifth, we've got LFC and Tiggies. Brilliant work, guys. What a fabulous quiz. Thank you so much for joining us. We have one final quiz next week. It will be extra fun, as it is our final quiz um, of this term. And I hope you can all join us. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to clap for Captain Tom.